Up Buddy Nerdigans, this is the one and only Packer Girl 89 and today's Manga Nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for the Elusive Samurai chapter 55. So before I get into this recap and live reaction, let me just remind you to hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons. And because of course this channel, let alone this video, are not sponsored and nah, we ain't sponsored by Shueisha and nah, we ain't sponsored by Manga Plus and nah, we ain't sponsored by Viz. Even though considering especially how much we promote Manga Plus, Surprisingly, we aren't sponsored by it now. Hopefully someday we will be. And we're just a non-stop high-speed struggle train heading into chaos and mm, getting faster by the second. Seriously, we're talking panic attack, migraine, just at half a speed levels of struggle up in here. Seriously, we're struggling to keep the roof over our head. It is that bad. But, 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 but if you love what we're doing and want to help keep this channel alive and kick in, feel free to hit up our cash app and PayPal. Those links are in the description box below. So... Um, last chapter of the Elusive Samurai, we came across the perfect match, um, for Tokiyuki. And now we're gonna get, um, a good lesson, which I think is actually pretty smart, um, for Tokiyuki, to perfect his elusiveness. Let's get to this chapter, see what's in store for us this week. Will the young lord be alright? I think so. I doubt Kusunoki don't know when in Snare a Child. Kusunoki surprises me. He is a famous warrior throughout Japan, but... Oh, rice balls. At times, he seems almost servile. Like, seriously. You, you're flinching... Um, oh my god, you. You're filching food again? Uh, sorry, I got hungry. And who is that boy? Run! <laughs> this chapter is titled Kusunoki 1335. This big mansion that Mikado gave me is perfect for fleeing. You run from your wife? She hasn't forgiven me for all the chaos of the rebellion. <laughs> um, the Kusunoki way is to flee first and then butter up the wife later. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I want to know if you men do that. Do you... Do you live by this philosophy? Do you live by the Kusunoki way? Where you flee first and then butter up the wifey later? I need to know this! Would I like this? No. I would hate this. Don't do that! Face your- face it now! Even though it won't lie, makeup sex is the best kind of sex. It is. But as the saying goes, happy wife, happy life. Uh, now, boy, you asked how the weak may defeat the strong. Why not try spying with me? Do whatever you feel you need to do to win. Huh? One exchange will be enough for, um, oh my god. One exchange will be enough for me to offer advice. Or are you scared? After all, I defeated the vast armies of the Hojo. I'm not scared. I'm not gonna lie, I actually really like the pants Tokiyuki is wearing right now. Uh, ah, who taught you that? My retainer who hides when I, oh, fucking A. Ah, who taught you that? My retainer who hides when I teaches me skills suited to my strengths. He is a wise teacher. When I confronted Kamakura staggering numbers, my soldiers were ragtag amateurs. I lack swordsmanship instructors. Um, so how did I win? I'll show you. Ooh. Ooh, this movement. Why do I not get this movement in, like, Dragon Ball or Boruto? That is the question. Ooh. He defended with a rice ball? Are you fucking for real? Oh, of course, I'm hungry, too. I'm so hungry. The only thing I've eaten so far is a 501 bar, and that was like, what time was it? That was like at 5 in the morning. That was 5 hours, 6 hours ago. I'm starving. From your stance, I expected a fading strike at, um, at an artery. That requires precision but minimal force. I merely needed to avoid injury to my artery, so even a kawa- oh wait. Even a kawaii rice ball could serve as a shield. I can't believe he used rice in a sword fight. The 
then your escape skills need improvement. The idea of winning by the sword imprisons you. If victory must come at the edge of a blade, then only strong swordsmen will win. And if it must come by bow, then only strong archers will win. For the weak to defeat the strong, they must flee the cage of the fixed ideas that confine them. <gasps> I like this saying. This saying is fucking everything. Then we'll get to the examples of this, but I fucking love this. This is some fucking wisdom. For the weak to defeat the strong, they must flee the cage of the fixed ideas that confine them. AKA, think outside the box. You gotta think to your strengths and think outside the box or think outside the cage. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Think basically, what can you do? Think what can you do to suit your strengths Instead of what you can't do. Focus on what you can do and not on what you can't do. Think with the right attitude and you can do anything. I love this. Even without skill with a sword, one may hollow out logs for collecting rainwater in a castle under siege. Flaming oil can be used to burn bridges. Even babies may hurl the, their feces. <laughs> He's not wrong. The soldiers' uh, weapons, strengths, and skills of war only need to only need function for one moment to defeat a force a hundred times larger. Yes, he is not wrong. I must flee the I must flee the cage that confines me. Common notions, traditions, aesthetics, um, past victory, superior numbers. Uh, those surrounded in these cages are hardy but and strong, but when stabbed through the bars, there is no way to escape. The weak must fly uh, their cages with pride, despite others branding them fearful and cowardly. The This fucking metaphor. Birds are impressive for their freedom. They have the entire sky to escape to. We must free ourselves like them and soar along the path of escape. I fucking love this metaphor. This metaphor is everything. That's why this is why I love this manga. Matsui, your writing gives me life. Your writing it brings me joy. This gives is everything. Re another reason why this metaphor is fucking amazing is, pe um, especially why we need it right now is people are so stuck inside these boxes inside stuck inside these cages. They can't think outside the fucking box or outside the cage or outside the flock. And they, and they get stuck. And they won't use their strengths. And then they get like this defeatist attitude. To flee is to live. That is my creed. To flee is to live. I actually, I understand this. I understand what he means. To flee is not cowardly. And this, with this logic, to flee is to be free. Because you can look at fleeing as be uh, in two ways, in negative light or positive light. And this is looking at it because it's a half, um, uh, it's, you know, the glass is half full, half empty kind of thing. I like this a lot. Thank you, Kusunoki Dono. Um, you have restored my confidence in fleeing. It really hurts when people say I'm like a bunny rabbit in foul and a weirdo who darts around naked as a jaybird. They really don't all back. Oh, right. You should see my room. I'll give you something. What a messy room. I'm always testing things to use in battle. Ah, here it is. What are these? Records that... <gasps> Records the Mikado requested that I write. That was my rough draft. It contains complete information on the strategies I used in the recent fighting. What sloppy writing? Well, it's a, just a rough draft. You can take your time deciphering it. However, that shouldn't be shown to anyone else because it's for the Mikado's eyes only. The tactics are for those skilled at running away and are prone to misuse by the unskilled. But we both love fleeing, so I trust you with it. Agreed, boy? Yes, thank you, um, Masashiga, uh, Shige, oh my god. Masashige Dono? Good, he's coming back. I appreciate your time. I have meant, I have, uh, have had many precious experiences in Kyo, and today was the high point among them. Good. Life is short, so enjoy fleeing to the fullest. 
he is young, but his purposeful eyes reveal glimpses of um, antipathy, um, antipathy toward the government. Surely he is not that boy. Did he figure it out? Father, yes, Tamamaru? While you were out, a messenger came from Takuji-sama. Oh? It's about the banquet in two days. He will arrive late about the hour of the dog. Uh, did something happen? So, around, um, about the hour of the dog is around 7 to 9 p.m. He's going to visit the Imperial Guards and will come straight here upon finishing his business. Understood. <gasps> my lord, I beg you to accept my suggestion. We know where and when Takuji will pass. This is the perfect chance to kill him. If you would rule, you must seize uh, this opportunity. Woo! I think it, I don't, Takuchi's going to be well guarded though, right? Well, they, here's the thing. They better be scouting every... Well, obviously, it's about a couple days. So they're going to be scouting to make sure it's safe to kill him. They have to. But will it be wise to attempt this killing? Hmm, that's the real question. Well, they, they got to look at the strategy carefully if it's the right way to kill him. But they got to decipher those notes, though, and take a look at... The, the fleeing skills, but I think if they can do it, they should take that opportunity. But they should also take the opportunity to spy as well. But we'll see. I'm very curious if we're going to do the attempt or not. They probably should, if, if it's right. But I'm going to say this. I really like Kusunoki. I love Kusunoki's philosophy. I do. I love all of his philosophies. I fucking love it. I love the Kusunoki way to flee first and um, flee first and then butter up the wife. <laughs> I fucking love that. And then I, I also like what he was saying about um, about fleeing the cage that confines you. I think that's so such a brilliant way um, about. Uh, I want to read that again. For the weak to defeat the strong, they must flee the cage of the fixed ideas that confine them. You can relate that to even now with um, the ideas that like the government puts in place. This what society puts in place. That to, for the weak to defeat you know so, um, societal standards, defeat what you know uh, government um, stand, what uh, government ideology or government propaganda and all that shit. For the weak to defeat that stronghold. They must flee the cage of the fixed ideas that the, the propaganda is setting out, the societal, that society is putting out, that confines them. And once they do that and rise up and come together and rise up, then they'll be able to defeat it. That's why this chapter is extremely powerful, in my opinion. And that's why when, um, and he's talking about all these different strategies that everyone can, everyone has their own role and cause they're utilizing their own strengths. And I love it so much. I do. And then the other thing that was great is this to flee is to live. I love it. To flee is to live. It's great to flee the to flee the cage and be, I feel like it's to flee the cage and be an individual in a way. To you, you know, obviously. But anyways, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below what you guys think of this chapter. This has to be, I'm going to say this right now, this definitely has to be one of my favorite chapters of this manga. It's definitely at least in top five. Maybe top three. Love this chapter. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdic Sync. If you love what I'm doing, I want to help keep this channel alive and kick in so I can keep bringing you more. Um elusive samurai content a few ways you could do that donate to my cash app paypal patreon purchase something off my amazon wish list all that's in the description box below also make sure you follow me on twitter twitch discord from me on playstation network that's in the description box below as well till next time nerdigans i will be seeing you later bye